right? We're doing this. It's your boy, Lonnie Kibar. Give me a key back for another video. This is the story of how I met and knew for a little bit Shy Glizzy. Take me back, it's middle school. Had to be like 05, going on 06. Um, living in Laurel, of course, from Laurel, Laurel, Maryland. I was playing for the Hurricanes. Um, I was playing for the Laurel Hurricanes. It was a new year, new players come, you know how that go. Some of the people that I played with last year, uh, we on the same team. Some new people, some people I know from my school, and Laurel had a few schools, so especially the PG side of Laurel. You know what I'm saying? We had a few schools, and people went to a few schools around there. But this time, I think I was in seventh grade. And usually people in Laurel, they either go to MLK or they go to Eisenhower. Anybody from Laurel will tell you that they go to Eisenhower or they go to MLK, especially when I'm talking early 2000s. So, early mid 2000s. So, but I don't go to the same school as, as Shaq Lizzie, though, or Mark Casey. I don't go to the same school, I go to MLK. So we see each other at the football field. Every time I seen him, he was cool, bro. Like, everybody have an image or whatever. You know, Glizzy Gang, whether people like it or not, I think it's a corporation, I could be wrong, but it is a business, you know, thing. So they have a different, they have a certain message for their business, and that's what they're sticking to, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no, I can't judge no man. But I'm talking about when we was 12 years old. But 13, he was 13, he's one year old. Um, so we playing, then we get to know each other. Pause. <laughs> that was real pause. We playing uh, games, you know, going to practice. Everybody starting to kind of become a team, you know what I'm saying? Go to the training camps, whatever. And he was cool. Marquise used to always be joking and stuff. I mean, well, Shy used to always be joking and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Shy was always cool. Like, I ain't saying he was soft, but the gangster <laughs> shit, all of that, I didn't see. You know what I'm saying? I, I personally didn't see. I'm not saying it wasn't there. And I'll get to a point where I, I'll get to a point where I kind of seen it going to that direction. I think we undefeated around this time. We winning this shit. You know what I'm saying? So um, we used to call them socks, right? So Marquise, you saying? So Shy Glizzy was a 10 play player. Anybody that knows anything about Pop Warner, you know, Pop Warner teams have to get every player at least 10 plays and I ain't gonna lie he came out he's like a creative player he had the socks on you know he put the socks on the cleats he had the socks on the cleats nigga cut the mouthpiece out put it right here I think he had like number 10 or something I'm not, I don't know but my man was pure trash so talking talking football you know what I'm saying he wasn't he wasn't that good but you know what I'm saying he could talk a lot like, I'm not talking about he like talk trash but like Niggas be laughing and all that. Like, he's talking, you know what I'm saying? But if Shot does remember, I don't know if he remembers. You know, he's seen a lot of life. But he can tell you when I was out there, I was smacking heads. I don't know. We was on a different. I, my, my mind wasn't right when I was playing Pop Warner. My father coached us, but I was just talking to smack people. They didn't even call it a game, just smack niggas. I was just smacking niggas. Like, if you heard the loudest, if you heard the loudest noise in the room, in the field that day, whatever park we was at, a recreational park, it was probably me. They can vouch for that. That's if, if that's 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 if I remember that. But then um, that's that's back in the day. Time go on. I go, I go to my eighth grade year. He's in high school. I don't know. If he's at Laurel High School again. Mark Shy was cool, but you know, so I seen you at the games and at practice. I just know you off there. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know what you're doing and all that. So. Eighth grade, I played for the Hurricanes one more time because, you know, eighth grade in Maryland, where around that time, PG, you can't play high school or nothing like that. You got to play little league or whatever. And I was playing Pop Warner around that time. And uh, that time went. Then I get to ninth grade. Here's when it gets interesting, right? So I'm a freshman at Laurel High. This year is 07, 08. So around this time, we got Spartan now. Spartan now where everybody has lunch at the same time. I don't know about your high school or what high school you've been to. I went to two high schools. From Laurel High was my first one. Um, but around that time, you had some from Spartan now. I don't know about nobody else's high school, but that, um, everybody gets lunch for an hour was crazy. 
Now, granted, I was a freshman. I wasn't really doing like that. I'd probably be really in the camp eating lunch. <laughs> or playing football outside, you know what I'm saying? Because around that time, I, I, of course, I was messing with girls and all, but I wasn't. I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? So my swag was a little different, uh, way different. So we in the cafe, whatever. I see people in the hall. You know what I'm saying? They got little snack drops in the hall. That's really, that's really lit. Going through the halls, whatever, and I see him. Now I seen him one time. He's walking one time, like with two guys, two people. I don't want to say it next. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Two guys, right? I'm like, oh shit, that's Marquise. Marquise from Lower League. Marquise from, yeah, from Lower Hurricane. You know what I'm saying? I said, what's up, bro? Freshman. He been in high school already a year. And for the looks of things, he damn sure wasn't thinking about football either. <laughs> he wasn't thinking about football. I don't think he was the athletic that whole. I don't know what happened around that time, but he, he was no football for him anymore. Um, <laughs> anyway. I go up, I said, what's up, bro? I hear something, something. I don't know. I said, what's good? Like, what's good, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? He said, what's good? Gave me a little fast dap. You could tell he knew me. You know what I'm saying? Gave me a little fast dap. Why not? Like, what's up, bro? And kept it moving. Like, okay. Me being so naive, I'm still holding on to the whole hurricane. Like, not really, like, Wanting to be my friend or nothing. Like, I'm just saying, like, that year, every time I see somebody I play Little League with, we cool. Or even if I ain't seen you in years, we, we, what's up, bro? Like, yeah, we've we been in the trenches together, man. Pop on a football, Little League football was lit, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he just wasn't thinking about football. He's in a whole different path or whatever. And he was a 10 play player. So, I mean, I'm like, okay, nigga, you trying to carry me? <laughs> nigga, you play 10 plays. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, it was just. I was still in the sports and he was still, he was into something else. But um, I saw him. He was like, "What's up, bro? It's good." I'm like, damn, bro. All right, fuck it. Like, he can't be nobody for him. Like, damn. Time go on. Weeks go by. I don't really see him. He, I don't know. I seen this nigga. This is when I knew something was different. Um, so then I seen him. Keep in mind, gave me the quick dab. I'm like, all right, what's up? Bro? Like, I know you, bro, but <laughs> I holler at you. Like, all right, nigga. I ain't doing like that, but that's what I'm thinking in my head. Like, nigga, I'm like, geeking. Yeah, I'm just saying, what's up? We play Little League together. Another time comes. I think weeks went by, maybe a month. I'm really being a freshman now. I'm really into it now. I'm kind of getting to the swing. I see this nigga. This nigga walking down the hall. He got like 30 niggas behind him. For what I don't know, I still don't know to this day. This nigga got, this nigga, niggas follow him? Yeah, like clout, whatever. The last time I talked to him was like two months prior. He stabbed him, I'm kind of, that, was, that was the period. Like, all right, nigga, I know you, you know me, but we ain't, all right, snap, cool. But then I come back and I see this nigga like months later, he got like 30 niggas. I said, damn, that's crazy. Went on about my business. Okay, I leave there. I mean, I do my whole high school years. Let's fast forward. I'm in college. We'll get to how all my high school times were at different times. We'll get into that later. I go to college. I'm going to North Carolina Wesleyan. I'm a freshman. This is the 2011. This is 2011 going on 2012 years. Um, I met a couple people from Maryland, a couple people from VA. I bet the school was in Carolina. Got no VA, my second home. If you don't know, now you know. But all oh, jokes aside, that's my second home. Maryland, my first, and Virginia, my second. I'm in the library, um, of course, North Carolina, Westland. My man's uh, called me to a computer. You know how the, the library is full of computers. My man's. He said, bro, look at this nigga, bro. He said, man, this nigga, this a fat trail. Fat trail's popping around this, right around this time. 2012, 2011, 2012. Around that, he was popping. You know what I'm saying? It's 
especially in the DMV area, he's kind of getting his name. He really ain't had that thing. It was 2012, 2012, 2013, 14 and moved. You know what I'm saying? But that's besides the point. Who does the fat trail? I said fat trail on Bob and nobody. Like he mad his business. I look on the jump. I said Marquise. And what's crazy about it? It was disrespect with the tech. He remixed fat trail to the death. What was crazy about that? Is that that song was <laughs> lit, bro. Disrespect for the tech. Disrespect with the tech was lit. It was lit. I'm sorry. I'm like, why you doing fat? I said, Marquise? So I'm like, no, this nigga's a rapper? Like, no, this we play lowly. This nigga's a rapper? I don't know. I'm not. I should have. And matter of fact, then I thought back to high school and he had 30 niggas behind him. I'm like, why is it 30 niggas behind him? Why is it, why is it 30 niggas behind him? Why 30 niggas walking behind Marquise? Shot. And this is not a diss at all. This is not a diss. I'm just telling my real experience. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't know he was not known for getting beat up. I never know nothing like that. Or of him pulling triggers. I don't know nothing about that. I'm just telling you the shot glizzy that I've met. <laughs> the Marquise that I know. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, people come into your life path. You know what I'm saying? People just, oh, shit, you in them. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was when I saw the, uh, when I saw the, um, Video with the library. I'm like, small kicks. I'm like, I'm looking at the views. I'm like, oh sh hey Slim, this Slim got it. He got about 50,000 views. I said, this nigga famous. I'm well not famous, but like this nigga rap career is really like popping. Niggas is listening to him. I said, let me go on YouTube and see what else he got. I said, he ain't popping like this overnight. Maybe I'm late. Hell no, nah, he not lit. This Marquise? Bro, go back. I go on YouTube. Little group where it was Glizzy Gang. I'm seeing mixtapes. Well, I'm seeing song after song. I'm seeing like 10,000 on the song. 20,000 on the song. Like, oh, no, he been. No, this. I was at a draw. I said, damn. I said. What the f And I had to salute. The nigga. Right then and there, I saluted him. I said, Slim. The nigga became a star. He became a star. Then after 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 that day, after I looked at all the I even saw a video with him on worst. I'm like, yo, I'm just, I'm doing research on him because I didn't know he was like, I didn't know he was popping like that. I didn't know he was like that. I didn't know he was a rapper like that. You know what I'm saying? I said, this nigga, I said, this nigga out of here. And I, I didn't know. Nick, from that point on, he just skyrocketed. Young, I was on campus. And this was 106 and Park was still on. He was number slim. I saw awesome. I saw awesome. Oh, I think it, oh, yeah, I know, I think I'm awesome. I said, yeah, this nigga on 106 in Park. Because on 106 in Park. Nigga, out of here. You know, and things went on with his career. He and he became a big star. He still is a big star. Um, I know he's going to, he's going through it with Aunt Glizzy and, and all that. And, I, I salute because and Glizzy too, man. Because niggas be really like every time, every person he really went on like that came for him. You know what I'm saying? Like you bothered me, or you put my mom picture looking down bad, and now when I retaliate, I'm the bad guy. I can't argue with that. You know what I'm saying? But that's their beef. I'm just talking about him, his standpoint on things, and how he be. You know what I'm saying? Going on niggas, but salute the Marquise, man. Man, salute the shot, Glizzy. I don't mean disrespect calling you Marquise, bro. That's it. I call you Marquise because that's when I first met you. I didn't know you. I didn't first meet you in shot, bro. So no disrespect. If you do see this video, I mean, probably don't. But yeah, that's the story time uh, of how I met and known, I guess, Shy Glizzy. <laughs> you did. Anyway, thank you guys, man, for watching, man. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell on the side. You know what I'm saying? Also, hey, new content on the way. New content every day. Yee. 
anyway, man, thank y'all, man. Uh, Lonica Ball signing out. Get it. You beat the booth, come in, turn off the